Hi everyone, and welcome back to uh, Healing on Frank's TV. Um, we've already done parts one and two, and today is part three, which is healing from society and cultural and ideolo ideological oppression. Um, but I think it's it's going to be a good episode. I feel really confident about this one, and we're I'm basically talking about uh, what can change when it comes to the ways that we interpret the world and what's true or has been true for me and what's something that I want to change, you know? So stick around. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'm talking way too much. So I will let you go to the theme song. The purpose of her life isn't yours to understand. Cause she's so free from the man. Cause that girl does what no one can. That's Frank. She's the type of girl that you love to detest. But when the world has feelings, you choose to repress. She's so beautiful, I don't know how to address. Let's call her F R A N X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X Hi. <laughs> Welcome back to part three of healing, um, of a five part series I'm calling healing here on Frank's TV. I was talking to someone in between making the episodes and I was telling them about the series. I was like really excited about it because I, I mean, I get really excited about everything I do, but I thought that this particular um, grouping of episodes was, was great. Um, in that anybody who is listening or anyone who needs this um, has enough to digest and to sit on and things that they can ways that they can begin to approach um, healing or any of these topics um, I also feel like I thought it was great because I was like healing is something that um, we all need I and I think if you're gonna approach stuff that's more complex, um, just being aware of what you're going through as far as your like healing process is concerned, I think makes it a lot easier to digest um, when it comes to things like controversy and the government or things that we'll get to um, in, in other episodes of Frank's TV. You know, um, because there's a lot that I want to talk about, but I want to make sure that we're not uh, running before we can walk. Um, which brings me to part three of healing. Um, healing from society and healing from cultural oppression. Um, so where do I begin, really? Well, okay, all of us now, the world that we live in is unprecedented. The amount of connection we have with each other the readily availableness of that connection, um, the perversion of the body, um, the exploitation of the world and its natural resources. This is like an unprecedented time in human history. We've never done something like this before. Like we, as like a global collective. Um, and I think that being said, we're living in this like, revolution where we're within the last hundred years let's say um we went from being uh dominated culturally let's say by like western ideals or christian thought in the west and we've gone from flipping that narrative to now experiencing the renaissance of spirituality and individualism um, as a contribution to oneness and like the whole. Um, and I think that this is how I got to that understanding was that I was able to, I wasn't even, it's not even that I was able, it's that something just clicked 
like I read the right book and connected the right dots of information and something clicked in my head and I said, oh, <laughs> I'm not, I might have been born into a cis male body with uh, the intention to become very uh, masculine, um, Latinx, you know, from El Salvador and Honduras, born in America. Like I had so many, even like the identity of like, oh, I'm gay or I'm queer, even, even like saying like I'm non-binary. All of these labels didn't, weren't big enough to hold the complexity of how I chose to view myself. So I had to understand that each of these labels existed in a way that was meant to guide the way that I'm supposed to function in the world. And I had to recognize the ways that I was being hurt by these different like containers for people. Um, and so I guess in, in terms of dismantling it, because that's really what the healing process is when you're looking at healing from the world, is you do have to dismantle what you were taught. Um, and you have to unlearn certain things. So I was taught that being um, soft and feminine involved being um, submissive or passive. And I counteracted that because I was able to recognize that. So I sort of, let's backtrack. I erased, just personally for me, I started by erasing the board. I erased all the labels I dissociated from all of them. I decided I didn't want to be involved in any of them. And I just erased all of them. And what I did instead was reattach my own meaning to them. And instead of saying, um, I'm masculine, like I'm a male, it was like I was able to, to, to parse out the truth in each of these labels. And so instead of saying, I'm masculine, and this is my major label, like I'm masculine. I instead was able to recognize the different behaviors and different, um, ooh, can you see my everything? Coochie? The di <laughs> Coochie! But I was able to, um, to see the ways that I was uh, maybe like aggressive and, um, maybe uh, commanding or demanding, but that doesn't make me inherently fully masculine because I'm also very sensitive and soft and nurturing. And those are inherently feminine qualities. And that's, but that doesn't dictate that uh, what I'm attracted to or even how I have to move or behave. They're just, I, I was able to to take apart the, the, the weave and the web of identity and politics and society and reweave it back together, re-understanding each thread and knowing that these labels are true, but they're not rules or regulations. They're just different aspects that we all carry. It's just that in society, we're under the impression and we're forced to believe that we can only identify with one and that that one dictates all the other ones. So if I chose Catholic as my main identity, that would dictate the way that I behaved in my masculine form and in my feminine form and in my artistic form and in my Latinx form and in, in all these other different um, presentations of the different world society ways to look at things so but but me just just you know hitting big pause like really big pause I was actually able to to like see that I was all of them at once because I'm infinite and I was able to to dismantle those things in my own life and realize that a lot of the reasons why I was unhappy in my entire life had to do with different expectations based on different versions of these different labels. So 
so when it comes to society to healing from society that's literally what i'm talking about is healing from these cultural and economic and political and so- social expectations of how we're supposed to behave and who we're supposed to be and realizing that no matter who you are literally every single person in the world you're just as textured and complex and you can't allow yourself to be boxed into one idea because that just damages you you have to you have to accept and allow for the complexity to come forward and that's what the this part three of healing is is recognizing that you're complex regardless of who you are you're complex you have feelings and thoughts and actions and behaviors and a personality and desires and needs and boundaries and you regardless of who you are these things are true for all of us and the only way to come into an acceptance of all of these things I felt was to accept that I was complex and healing away from society and moving towards spirituality, I was able to see that I'm complex. You know, once I was, once I I stopped giving a fuck about my job, I'm sorry if you're watching and we work together, I'm sorry, but I didn't give a fuck for the end because I realized how little it had to do with my identity and how much it had to do with other people. And I realized that I didn't want to work for someone who was whose identity was wrapped in what I was doing. That wasn't working for me. That was damaging to me. So, because the expectations were were just not real. Like, people are real. Humans are real. Like I said, everyone's complex. So to approach someone and want to just interact with one facet of them is ignorant and selfish and it's not until I could say these things out loud to myself that I actually healed those wounds I had where I realized that so many like so many random different wounds so like oh I mean this person had a weird interaction I understand the complexity there the healing begins oh me and this and um I hurt myself by uh, doing X, Y, and Z. Oh, but these are the multiple reasons why I did it because I'm complex. You know, oh, um, this person said something mean to me and now we're fighting. Oh, but that person's going through their own thing and so am I and we're interacting in a way that's triggering both of us. That's complex. Like, we're all just complex. There should be more empathy in that fact that we're all supposed to be complex because we're all living under this interconnected web that wants us to not be. I just got really turned out that last like 20, 30 minutes. Um, I'm, and I think even me waffling into that joke side of my personality right now in the middle of this um, it just goes to show you, you know, we have to, who cares what people think, who cares what, like, what the world wants you to believe about yourself, you are the only one that knows and decides, so once you can recognize the neuroticism of the world, and cultural politics and identities and stuff like that, you can actually get the option to choose yourself and while some of these labels and these existences contribute to who you are that doesn't mean that you are simple and it does not mean you have to be simple it actually shows shows you the dynamic qualities that every person can have you know there's like there's people in all religions and in all I- sexual identities and in all race races and nations and backgrounds and political ideologies that overlap with every single other one. And that's what it really means to be human. And that's how you can heal from societal oppression. 
is by understanding the complexities that are at play and accepting that you, just like everyone else, is super ultra complex and is just as mixed up with all these different societal oppressions as you are. And when you start to recognize the different ways that you overlap with different people, connections can become stronger because you can see how you connect whilst recognizing how you don't connect, making those connections you do have even more fruitful because you can value each other's humanity. And that's how you dissociate away from and heal from society is by coming together and recognizing each other's humanity. Thank you so much. (laughs) This has been part three of a five part series about healing here on Frank's TV. Um, I'm so excited to be doing things like this. I'm excited to just be alive. I'm an excited person. Um, And I'll see you guys next Wednesday for part four Uh, relationships. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye!